I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank all my viewers and subscribers for taking interest in my videos and posting excellent questions. Here is another example, a question posted by my friend on area and perimeter. The question here is, rectangle has area of 630 centimeter square, find possible length and width. Let us see how to solve this question. Now this comes, uh, so this is a response of one of my videos where the student wants to know possible length and width. We'll only consider whole numbers, right? So we'll consider whole numbers. There could be infinite numbers of combination, however, we will consider only the whole numbers as far as length and width are concerned. So here is a rectangle. Let's say the length is L, width is W. We know the area is 630. Question is, how do we find different combinations of length and width? Correct? In this rectangle. Okay. So the best way to go about is to create table of values. So what we will do here is that we'll write down the values for different length and width which could give us area of 630. So the first thing is to find combination of length and width so that we have area of 630, right? So which gives you area of 630. How do you get all possible combination? That's another very important thing. How do we get all possible combination? For that, we will do prime factorization. That will help us. Okay, let's just do factorization. Let's see what this is. Now, when we talk about factors, uh, we know 630 could be written as combination of let's say 63 and 10 correct now 63 could be written as combination of we know 7 times 9 right 7 times 9 and 9 could be written as 3 times 3 10 could be written as 2 times 5 so that gives you combination of some numbers which will definitely give us 630 areas product of length and width so these are the different numbers which can always give us the result i hope you're getting it right so uh, what you could do here is and of course 1 times 630 is always a number right so we could begin building our table let's say we want to write uh, we'll write try to write smaller number for width right it doesn't make a difference but it's good practice so if i write width as equal to let's say one in that case i get length of 630 well one is not a prime number and therefore you don't see it here now if i write width as two what is the other number so let me write down 630 as product of all these prime numbers so what do we get here 2 times, 3 times, 3 times, 5 times, 7. So if when you multiply all these numbers, you get 630. 3 times 3 is 9, 9 times 7 is 63, and 5 times 2 is 10. Perfect. Now, if I want to get the number here for 2, I have to multiply these numbers. Exclude 2. Correct? That is half of 630. Perfect. So that is 315, right? So we could write this as 315. Now we could use one of these threes and then get all numbers except that three since we have considered that. So we have got 5 times 2 as 10, 7 times 3 is 21, so it is 210. Do you get the idea? Now we could take 5 as one of the widths and multiply the other numbers. It is as good as multiplying by 630 divided by 5. You could do that. So it goes how many times? 5 goes 1 times and then we have 13 2 times. 30 gives 126. You can always check your result. You get an idea, right? If I use 7, 
we know seven times all these number right so 10 and 9 90 right so that gives you times 7 similarly now we can move ahead we can take bigger numbers nice 2 times 3 is 6 so 6 could be one combination I would like you to fill this table up right and then we could have 9 as another combination fill this 3 times 3 try to multiply two numbers right uh, 15 could be one bit so likewise continue this list so my suggestion is that you continue this list okay to get other possible numbers the question is find all possible length and width so you need to go and exhaust your list you're getting my idea right so that is how you can get different combinations perfect so i leave it here and i like you to uh, find this now sometimes the question is extended let's extend this find possible length and width and then i'm adding perimeter so if that is part of your question then add one more column for perimeter and you know what perimeter is perimeter is twice length plus width right so perimeter is two times length plus width so you can find the perimeter once you get some dimensions correct so that is to say add these two numbers and multiply by two so do 630 plus one and then multiply by two to get your result you can use calculator 315 plus two and then multiply by two so this means multiplication right similarly 210 plus three and then double that number to get perimeter for the given dimensions of your rectangle i hope that makes sense right so it is like 631 times 2 so it gives you 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 3 is 6 2 times 6 is 12 and the units for perimeter are going to be centimeters just as we have units for length and width as centimeters perfect area being in centimeter square so i like you to fill this table also so that you also know the perimeter now another question which i'm going to extend here is what dimensions will give maximum perimeter right so once you make this you can compare these values uh, uh, let me extend this table and give you some length and width which could give you a oblique minimum perimeter a minimum perimeter well the maximum perimeter will be when you are taking flat thing right so it gives you flat portion maximum but the minimum perimeter will be when you have a square type of uh, dimension okay so to get the minimum i like you to check with width of let's say 21 right so if it is uh, 21 that means we have taken care of these two it should be multiplied by 30 right. check perimeter that could be the minimum perimeter for you right so so take a value maybe uh, 30 okay 30 and 21 so this combination might give you minimum perimeter anyway you need to check this result and then let me know right so i hope you find this uh, interesting and useful and serves the purpose but there's a lot of work for you to do once you've done this work also let me know how many combinations did you get so there's another question here how many combinations do you get combinations of length and width let me write length and width to give you area of 630 perfect so you need to figure this out also okay now i'll post a video which will give you how to find number of maximum number of combinations for a given situation like this okay so that's an extension which 
is a very good question for even grade 11 and 12 students. But I hope with this you understand the basic concept that if you know the area, how to find dimensions, correct? So you need to find the product of numbers which gives you the area. That combination gives you length and width. Simple as that. If you really like this solution, please feel free to... So I hope you like this approach of finding the values. Feel free to share your comments and views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.